So the, what are the best OBS settings for recording multiple cameras? You can have loads of cameras set up so you can actually flip through the cameras and show different views. Let me take you onto my next screen here and show you exactly how to set up multiple cameras. Okay, so now we're looking at my OBS screen. If you're familiar with my other tutorials, I covered everything you're seeing here. So check out the earlier tutorials. This is about multiple cameras and what's the best settings to get loads of angles like you just saw. So on my setup, what I like to do is find a number of different cameras that will allow me to get different perspectives of what I'm doing. So right now you can see I have actually three cameras here. Let me get rid of some of these from a previous uh, video that I made. I normally put extra frames on here. So you can see, if I turn the frame off, there's no guideline around those little white lines. So these are all extra things you can make, which I'll link you to in one of the other videos about tutorial of making overlays. And I'll even give you a free overlay in that. You can see I've got a Canon camera. I can turn the Canon camera off. I can turn it on. That's that Canon camera. So I'm using a DSLR camera, an old Canon T2i to be specific. And that actually records video it takes photos but if you plug it in via usb it actually becomes a webcam that you can use in a live streaming software file uh, any type of software really like obs teams skype discord but i use it in obs the secondary one here i've got top down hdmi view which is up here that one that is actually another camcorder being used via a hdmi capture card all of these cameras can record at 1080p that's my benchmark. So if everything records at 1080p, then the video looks half decent. Um, and then I've got uh, another option here where I can show my desktop and the screen right is basically what you're seeing, infinite loop. Um, so these cameras, all of these, they don't have to be expensive. If you look at the reflection in my phone, you'll see the camera pointing down. It's a, uh, can I make it a bit higher? So you can see a full screen. See that it's just a camcorder. That's what it is, facing straight down on a piece of wood. Um, so there's a few ways to do this. You can make it look nice and neat. And depending on the types of tutorials you're doing, you might need different setups. But the cameras are very important. I also look at action cameras that you can use as webcams. This is an A79. It's not the best camera to use as a webcam. However, there are other cameras that you can use. And if I was to show you another view where I do a twin cam view, you can see here now on this camera view, I can easily switch between the cameras and show you a different action cameras. And these are all set up in the scenes. So earlier in the tutorial, I covered scenes and how you can use them to your benefit to avoid lots of editing time. So these all cameras are different setups. So I'm gonna link you to a chapter about how to set up a live streaming camera to help you with this, because I think this is a wider topic. As long as they're all set up in the screen and you have your settings set up and the recording option as in file, settings and then here you can see i've got a output and a video in the video it's set at 1920 by 1080 so in this example if some of these videos were not 1080p videos and they were a webcam i can resize those so for example right now in this corner you can see i've got a canon camera and that is probably a 720p video feed normally it shows like that but i can resize it by using obs to do that and make it a full screen so that's something that would be really handy, especially if you have multiple cameras and you can do this on the fly or you can have scenes set up separately where they're all already in their little boxes. So for example, these ones you can see here, they've been reframed. So all of these are easy to use OBS additions, scenes, frames, and all of these are sources in this OBS tutorial. I covered these in earlier pieces where you can do add and add to a number of different types of things images photos and if i wanted to speak about something i could even do something like let me get a cover the fifth word is mad so here's a com thumbnail i could just throw that onto my screen and now i have a picture here which i can use as part of my tutorial and say talk about the picture that could be a video that could be a link that could be a number of different things you can even bring in somebody else's mobile phone and have them in on the, as an interview i also speak about that in the obs uh, ninja tutorial so i think these are little things that you will find helpful especially if you want to eliminate loads of editing time because all these obs videos i've made so far i've recorded them directly into obs and then 
all I did was take him to video editing software and got rid of a few bits because I wanted to make it a bit more uh, streamlined for you. And I added some few extra things in here, which is part of a competition, which I won't go into. There's some essential tips that will really help you get in your OBS journey. Here I made a video of 10 essential tips for OBS. You'll find them really handy. So stuff that I use. Check that video and I'll see you on that.